All right, guys, just let you know, took a small break. Fighter safety, Draylon McCoy has been transported to the hospital for precautionary reasons. Well, hopefully we'll get a check on him before the end of the event, but we're going to go on with our second fight. 140-pound catch weight between Jair Pena and Damian Miller. This is an interesting one because you've got a guy that's three and six, has nine total fights, taking on a debut fighter. That's always, uh, as we see Damian Miller making his way to the cage here now. But, it, the, I, you know, I think that that's an interesting kind of a, a dichotomy here. You've got a guy in his very first fight who, of course, wants to get off things off to a win, but then you've also got a guy with nine fights who has a record that's under 500 that, you know, he's maybe going to try to start to build that record back up. Well, it's interesting because I think you and I both know that we, we know when you've got a guy from G-Force, he's going to be prepared. And, uh, you know, Damian Miller obviously will give him a, a good challenge, uh, be good for both guys. And Miller's an interesting guy because he's fought a lot of really tough guys. He's fought Will Bolduck out of Tennessee. He's fought Jeff Mack, who's a professional now. He's fought Kirk Security out of Ronan Training Center. And his last fight he took on Cody Riggs, who I believe is 4-1 or 5-1 at this point. So the record might be a little bit deceiving for Damian Miller here. He's got the man bun action going. That's, no, I guess it's braided into a – I don't know what that is. Jair Pena coming in. <laughs> 22 years old, out of G-Force fight team, and G-Force out of Cincinnati, one of those gyms that you always know that their guys show up ready to fight, and I think that's interesting that... What was it? They're definitely not afraid to take on a more experienced foe in Damian Miller for the debut fight of Jair Pena. Conversating with referee extraordinary Gary Copeland. See the whole G4 squad coming out here with Mr. Pena. Later on, we'll see Mark McDonald and Charlie Stanford in the pro ranks, two of their more experienced, talented professional fighters. But this is kind of the other end of the spectrum in Jair Pena making his debut here at Hard Rock 84. And this is a gym that really is, they're kind of known for their toughness Absolutely. and their grit and just beating the crap out of each other in the gym. And I think that that really helps you as a really young fighter. It helps you be prepared to go in the cage because you know you've fought your toughest battles in the gym before you ever get in the cage. Absolutely. You know, we saw Charlie Stanford take on uh, Cody Garbrandt in his career. Uh, it was a big fight for both of them. Ended up catapulting Garbrandt onto the UFC. These guys always take a lot of amateur fights as well, so maybe the first of many here for Jair Pena. Damian Miller with a little pop from the crowd. White Lightning in the black altercation shorts. White lace with red. Pena, the all black Nike pros looks like. Miller looks the calmer of the two. That's, you know, that's to be expected with a guy that has nine fights already. You know, against a debut, against a debut guy. I think it would be interesting for me as a guy with that many fights to take on a guy that has just a few, you know, who's making his debut. You never know what to expect. Touch of gloves, we're underway in our second fight of the night. Miller, the southpaw here. Miller with a low leg kick almost takes Pena off his feet. And that inside leg kick, that is a huge advantage for southpaw. I like the, the artwork on Pena's shoulder, though. Miller keeping his distance. Pena has an interesting stance here. He has kind of a, a boxing stance. You see that shoulder more. Trying to roll his shoulders through yeah. there. Shoulder more center line as opposed to a lot of guys that are MMA fighters who stand kind of a, in a closer to a wrestling stance. 
You see trading kicks here early in the first round. You see Miller with a lot wider stance too. He's also on the balls of his feet, Pena, kind of on on his heels here, a little bit more flat-footed. Straight left, left there. Yeah. Big left hand misses. Pena swinging wildly here, though. Sides can serve a little energy there, pull it back exactly before rushing in. I was going to say, uh, kind of a, a veteran move there. Didn't see the opening. Pena slipped there. One thing I've noticed, we do have a canvas here. It's Ooh, oh, big left hand. Miller it's over. It left hand. It's over, guys. Big knockout for Damian Miller. Great stoppage there by Gary Copeland. Great job being in the right place at the right time and a big win for Damian Miller. Big, much-needed win over a guy from a legit camp in G-Force. That left hand came out of nowhere. That's a, a, a great weapon for a southpaw against an orthodox fighter is that straight left hand. You saw him blast Pena and hit him right on the chin and ends up getting the knockout win here to move up to four and six on his career. Dr. Sparks talks it over with Jair Pena. See a little sportsmanship there. Coming to the center of the ring for our time. From the voice of Hard Rock MMA, Jason Weinel. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute and 30 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by KO, Damian White Lightning Miller. See our ring girl, Shannon, giving him his winnings on the night. If you don't know, amateur fighters get paid zero. All for the love of the sport. Much like amateur broadcasters such as ourselves. Exactly.